Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And I want to give a shout out to Jesus, a uh, buddy of the channel. He sent in this picture. So we have another AT&T upgrade for um, C-Band slash DOD happening in the El Paso, Texas area. This is actually the main serving cell for the for the mall here locally for actually two malls uh an outdoor mall on the left and an indoor mall on the right so just generally a uh, a very busy area for every carrier so what i like about this approach is at t is not all over the place with it so yes, when they do upgrade a site, it is really, really, really fast. Like this one, they did it in about a day. But they're not doing, you know, five, six, seven cell sites at one time. And the reason I like that approach is because one, they are not part of any early clearing for C-band anyway. So none of the 80 megahertz is going to launch until the end of the year. Until the uh, B and C blocks clear for at t Now, yes, they, they can launch the DoD, but limited device support is going to be tough so they're doing it site by site and like i said when they do upgrade a site it is pretty fast they don't spend like several weeks there they're a, a, a day or day or two and they're out and they upgrade it with the latest and greatest so there's a there's a nice modernization that they're taking on they're adding a new bigger panel they're adding the air 6449 6419 for the dodc band combo and they're upgrading all the radios right in some cases verizon has been moving so fast and they're all over the place where they have to go back to make the mods for the lte side in some cases they don't have the all the radios for the for the low band 5g and in some cases they're just touching the site with c-band and then they leave so that's why I like the at t approach. It's not as fast, but it does work for them. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. See y'all in the next one. Peace.